we might as well just face it. All right, but, bet. Yeah. But um, but yeah, but no, um, right now Michigan lawmakers are making it easier for niggas to get into the pot game. I'm so fucking excited about that. Oh wait, I got my light. My bad, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no, I'm here. So it's it's really oh. really good, bro. Um, I think that this is gonna help companies um grow. Thank you, sir. Um, in the game. Uh, a lot of people have just been finding it really difficult to get into pot. You know what I'm saying? And it's such a lucrative company, I mean, in business. Um, and that actually brings me to announcing one of our guests here tonight. Uh, we have the lovely Allison from Ali Allure Aesthetics. How are you doing today? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you Put for having me. Put some respect on her name, man. Yes. Owner yes. of okay, Ali Allure. Owner, CEO hey, but hey, the of only Ali way Allure. you can get your name in the title of the company is by being an owner. Man. Yep. You got to be the motherfucking mm-hmm. person to run it. So, you know, um, I brought this up because I know that you got, uh, you have your location, I'm here for them, mm-hmm. and that you're going to be providing CBD facials? Correct. Correct. Okay. Yep. And CBD what, what's, facials. What's, all, what's that all about? So, okay, I'm all into the skincare. I'm all into self-care feeling good, learning how to deal with stressors and all. So I've been using this product for about two weeks now on, on myself um, mm-hmm. before I actually came out. <coughs> now we, I got a facial from um, a esthetician down in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. She provided me with my first CBD facial. And, you know, I was interested because I'm like, dang, I smoke weed a lot. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know too much about CBD other than, you know what I'm saying, anti-stressors and things like that. Right. So I went down there. I'm drilling her with questions. Her layout was nice. And so I'm like, okay, I, you know, I'm talking to her, and I'm like, Detroit don't have nothing like this. Mm-hmm. Detroit has estheticians, but they don't have estheticians that's really focused on, one, the CBD aspect. I don't know no estheticians that smoke weed publicly other than myself. Mm-hmm. And I kind of want to incorporate that, especially with all my weed clients or mm-hmm. my friends and family. Exactly. So anyway, been I've been using this product, and um, I can honestly say, like, it helped me sleep at night. Mm-hmm. Like, I had insomnia bad, or mm-hmm. have insomnia. And when I wash my face at night, cleanse my face at night, mm-hmm. put the mask on once a week, um, I see that I actually, like, can go to sleep for a full eight hours. Yo, do you know how amazing of a concept that is? Like, just the fact that, like, c- taking care of your skin can, can help you sleep. sleep. Yeah. That's fucking incredible. Like, the marketing is genius. It's, like, it's I gotta over. commend you for that. And you know what I'm saying? And so, I, I take a lot of selfies, videos. I post them on my Facebook, Instagram, mm-hmm. what I happened. might have to come visit you for this And at the same care. time, yeah. even when I was getting a facial with um, Brittany Angelica, actually, is what her name mm-hmm. is, um, in Atlanta. She owns Cannabis Spa. And after she did that, I, I bought some pre-rolls from her. I smoked the pre-rolls. Mm. I just sat there. You know what I'm saying? I literally drove around Atlanta by myself mm. and was just <laughs> taking in all the sun and taking in all of the information and just taking in all of the everything, just the environment, what I've been through, everything. And I was just sitting here like, wow, like this really is less stressful. I like, I feel relieved. You know what I'm saying? Not only do you feel relieved when you get a facial regularly, mm. but those pro- those products that people use in spas typically are geared towards a specific skin concern. You come in there, you got acne. You come in there, you got hyperpigmentation. You come in there, you got dark spots around your chin. You come in there, you got ingrown hairs. And those, you know, clients are telling you, this is what I don't want anymore. I want you to help me correct it. Exactly. Or help me control it. You know what I'm saying? But with CBD facials, it's all in one. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to help you not stress as much Mm -hmm. make sure we focus on hyperpigmentation and anybody who's used cbd oils or cbd balm or any of that they typically go for that so that way it can one focus on anti-stressors you know what i'm saying or two if you got scars on you cbd is really really heavy when it comes into fading dark spots Mm -hmm. when it comes to hyperpigmentation it's actually it's actually um like if you even research it it's I, i don't know the name of the um the company, I'm gonna have to look it up before I leave here. Mm-hmm. But they actually sell CBD balm, they sell lotions, oils, and a lot of spas are going into the whole, or massage therapists, I shall say, mm-hmm. are going into the CBD oils to make it a little bit more intimate when you have in these services. And that's kind of what I want to do, considering the fact that I'm not a massage therapist, so I can't, you know, massage <coughs> everywhere, but I can focus on making sure that I'm rubbing your temples with CBD serum mm-hmm. that's on my mask. You know what I'm saying? Cleansing your face and starting your day fresh with a clear mind, you know what I'm saying? 
saying? Then when you sleep at night, you good. Like, all right, cool. Man, I promise I can take my vitamin, take my vitamins and watch, cleanse my face and I'm good. I just was reading an article online not too long ago about the things that we can do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the, the, the diseases that it can help. I mean, and it's almost, it's everything from depression and anxiety to yep. HIV to cancer yep. all the way down to drug addiction itself. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's kind it's, that's why we do this podcast, man. We <laughs> need to let people know. So is it safe to say wonders. this is brought to you by CBD Facials? Man. This is not brought to you by CBD Facials. <laughs> Ali did not sponsor this podcast, but we did have a Patreon sponsor this podcast, man. So shout out uh, to the, our new patron that just sponsored this episode, man. Without you guys, we cannot do this stuff, bro. Um, and mm -hmm. actually, we will be bringing him onto the show, my homeboy Edward, really soon, um, as a response to you supporting us. So, you support us, you can interact with the people you support. I don't know if nobody else is doing that, man. I don't know, I'm just saying. But anyway, let's keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Uh... We'll get deeper into your company a little bit later. I'm okay. loving what you got going on, especially because it got so all the much information to do with ganja. Yes, <laughs> and I, mean, I feel like I was in a weed you gotta class. You got to think about right. it too. You got to think about it too. Yep. When if we talking about um, weed being legalized, all mm -hmm. fifty states yep. coming out here, Midwest. You know what I'm saying? At this point, why not talk about everything that is about that? It can encompass, correct? Weed with, okay. Selling weed is, is, is one thing in mm -hmm. itself, you know what I'm saying? I'm not For trying sure. to take the dang on drug dealers out sure. the game. I ain't trying to take the, uh, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to take the, um, government out the game either, but at the same time, I feel like you gotta, get you gotta tap in there. Yeah. And then nowadays, you know, you just, you see how coronavirus is going, so everybody got a mask. Everybody gotta have a mask. Yep. That's that's what I'm using. Yep, everybody gotta wear a mask. Now you see so many people with masks. They coming out with masks, bodies, masks mm -hmm. for me. They got this and that. I just want to focus straight up on the skincare, something that's gonna yep. really help you. For sure. You know what I'm saying? We and I'm talking about we smoking backwoods, we smoking game leaves, we switch, we smoking swishers, mm -hmm. we smoking frontal leaves, we smoking papers, all of that. And you see on the news where they talk about oh, weed leads to heart problems and lung problems. It's because we smoking the tobacco at the true. same time. Very true. Why not get your high? Not because you're going to get high off of these products that I'm using, mm -hmm. but why not get your high and feel comfortable on your cloud nine without even indulging in that? Yeah, you no, know what I'm saying? the ingestibles and that whole world you know what I'm saying? of things. But it, it, it brings down the amount of tobacco that's you in your system. I ain't going to lie. I feel yeah. like I'm in a weed class. Is it going to be homework? <laughs> it's going to hey, be homework. It's, it's going to be a, a test. test. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <How bad? laughs> Let's go. Can you, can you do that? I can't teach you how to pass <laughs> that bitch. No, I know how to pass that <laughs> <laughs>